Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. Power of Words, the case of Donald Trump. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I uh, understand many people are starting to go back to work, which is good. Just um, you know, if you can't, if if you suspect that you know you may be you know you may uh, be likely to get sick wherever you are, just you know uh, keep safe however you can. You know, wash your hands, primarily washing your hands. You know, wash for you know, make sure no one's coughing on you or sneezing on you or anything like that. Um, so there was a, I, I'm doing this video for a couple of reasons. One, I, uh, I understand the power of words and I understand how words, how, how, th how what a person says can have a direct impact on many people who are listening. Um, the funny thing is, is whatever, whatever biases a person has can, you know, greatly affect how they interpret what someone else, what someone says. So. And I'm using Donald Trump as, a, as, a, as an example because he is, I think he's a perfect example of uh, considering everything that's been going on, not, not even just with, not even just this thing with, with the China virus, but with things, with things have gone, gone on maybe even since, since he started, since he ran, for, since he started running for president or right, you know, right when he was elected. And, um, there are just some things that I noticed about when he, when he, you know, when he speaks and how the media reacts and how other people, you know, and how other people, you know, like on social media reacts. And I think it's worth, it's worth getting into. So there's an, so there's this idea that he, you know, he responded to this, he responded to the, to this whole, to this whole pandemic. Um, he didn't respond, you know, he responded too late or more, more what I heard of it, he was, he didn't seem like he cared or, he seemed like you know. He seemed as if it was not a big deal. He wasn't making a big deal out of it. Like, you know, he was too. He was too relaxed. Well, we, well, something to understand is when you're someone like Donald Trump, who, as time has gone by, as time has shown over and over and over and over again, everything you say, there's there's a industry that's hanging on every word, every letter that you use. The media, mass media, they 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 hang on everything he says. I, going back to you know, and they just blow out. It's, it's blown out of proportion. Um, going, it's going back to the even the two scoops of ice cream. Uh, you know that that whole thing. Like, oh, why? Why does he get two scoops of ice cream? Or why? Well, like, does he think he's better? Like, no, oh, maybe he's like maybe he just likes a lot of ice cream. Shit, I like that ice cream. You know, primarily, I primarily like cheeseburgers. You know, but I but I get it. You know, and it just shows how how hanging on every little thing he says or every thing he does. Is just driving is just driving um, the mainstream media insane, and it's, it's driving and a lot of people are getting being driven insane, not necessarily because of things he says, but because they don't like him. They don't like him for whatever reason. Uh, you know, he gets you know the the same labels get thrown around. Not just about not just about him, but you know anyone who's on a conserv who's conservative or anyone who's a Republican or anyone who's on the right, or perceived to be on the right. You know, and, and, and you know the, the you know the normal. Normal process goes on. Uh, someone says, someone says, uh, you know, they give their opinion, they give a statement, and it gets interpreted as being either sexist or racist, uh, homophobic, xenophobic, whatever have you. It, gets, it, it goes through that filter, and then there's a reaction by the mainstream media or by people who you know who, you know, who write articles, things like that, and they have to go you know, hit the keyboard and talk about it. Um, what, what, I, what has happened from that is it became my job. And try to figure out. All right, what is it? What, what was it actually said? So then it's like nowadays I can't just go off of what someone else says, um, or what someone else typed about. You know, they say what what the president says. I have to go and actually look for a transcript and try to figure out what what was said and what the context is. So it shows that whenever he says something, there's always there's like a, there's a gang of people just you know chomping at the bit you know to come to some conclusion that fits their feelings, that fits their narrative. About what he said, and, you know. I said, and going back to you know the thing about the of our response to the coronavirus, and like the China flu, or what have you, it was thought that he responded, you know, he was too calm about it. Well, this is my, well, this is my 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 thoughts on the whole thing was, of course he's calm. Not just the, not just the fact that people are hanging on his every word. Why would you want a leader coming in front of the camera, panicked, you know, sweating bullets, just. You know, heart palpitations. <laughs> and just you know, can't compose, can't control himself. Just and just you know, say, oh, this whole thing is just bad. Everybody's in a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna die. You know, 
No, you don't even, that, doesn't, that doesn't instill confidence. That just freaks people out. It's more so it freaks out people who, who definitely don't have confidence, who, who are definitely, even though they hate this guy, they are hanging on every little thing he says or every little thing he does because in the back of their mind, they can't think of any other better solution. They can't, they, they're not, they, they're not, their own, they, they don't know how to lead themselves. So they got to hang on to someone else to do a leading for them. The problem is they can't, t- they can't stand the fact that someone who they, you know, someone who they believe is so incompetent or uncultured, unlike themselves, is in a position of authority. So they have to keep just, so they have to keep criticizing him because they just can't, they can't deal with it. They, they don't like it. They don't like it, but they, but they, but they're, but they're impotent to do anything about it because they, they're not, because they're not leaders themselves. They, they don't lead, they don't have their own, like they don't have their own original ideas and they don't have uh, the gumption to actually act on them on, on, you know, on their own. So they get upset about what someone, what someone else does. And they could just break away and do whatever they want, but again, they don't have it. They don't have that, they don't have that juice. <laughs> you know, they ain't built like that. So, you know, and that's something I gathered from, you know, just a response about, you know, how, you know, what, you know, what was the timing? You know, I mean, he, he wasn't, you know, we knew, you know, I guess, uh, we know, you know, the U.S. has known about it. At least he knew about it since January. I think he established the task force by that time. And they were just, and they were just still watching other countries to figure out what they were doing. But at the same time, people were still going, oh, he's not taking it seriously. You know, he needs to shut, you know, he needs to do, you know, the media, it's funny, the media was saying that he needs to shut down the, he needs to shut things down. He needs to act like, wait a minute. Y'all would just accuse this guy of being Hitler. You know, he wanted to actually act like it, you know, but he's not doing it to he's not doing it to to their specifications. So, like I said, they they can't form their own thoughts. They 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 are unable to control themselves. They can't control their own feelings, which is why every little word that he which is why they hang on every little word that he that comes out of his mouth or any or any other person in, in charge for that matter. That just that just happens. People who are people who who are generally in charge, they have someone else. Or some other group of people uh, who can't formulate their own ideas, who can't, you know, who, who aren't really even that good followers. Because at least you have someone that's following you. You want them to actually come up with some ideas that are um, that original. That's something that they can actually use, to contribute, not just continue to piggyback off of, off of what you're doing, but be able to break off, break away um, through your leadership and, you know, to kind of take, you know, kind of, you know, get something, get a get a new ball rolling on their own. So that's why words are very powerful. And I would say all this to say, I say all that to say this. So to bring up the point about the disinfectants. So I read I had to read the transcript from this. You know about uh, the president was talking about um, the same way that the, the scientists have, have have observed different disinfectants um, on saliva that had you know had the China virus COVID nineteen what have you in it and how it was able how fast it was able to kill it. Same goes for uh, UV light treatment. And he was making a key, he was coming over tonight, he was asking a question to our, to our experts about can this be done, uh, can the same thing be, do, be turned into a treatment? Can the same thing be done where maybe an injection or somehow to get it into the body where it can kill the virus, you know, on contact or at least, you know, work its way up to doing so, you know, with maybe, you know, maybe one treatment or repeated treatments. And people on, and... And, and uh, again, people's biases, their their uh, their shortcomings, their impotency, takes what he said and twisted it, put to put it through their lens and puts it out as saying he's telling people. Not for all, he's not telling people, but they're saying they're saying he's telling people to inject themselves with bleach. And this is going so out of, out of control that now Lysol had to put out a public statement saying, saying telling people not do not ingest or inject or treat yourself with how, with their chemicals. Like they need. Like we need, be, like like we need to be told that. Well, some people know there's a good number of people who need to be told that. But I guess you take it up to being a, a matter of cleaning the gene pool. You know, you understand what I mean. So this all gets, so his words get twisted. And I, I read all this stuff on Reddit. You know, there's some headlines on you know YouTube about it. So I say, you know what? I'm not, and I also there's people on um, people are present on Facebook who are just losing it. You know, we're just come up with some of these, some of these silly statements, you know, just off the wall stuff. So I said, you know what, I gotta read the transcript. So I read it, and I figured it out. It was basically talking about how if this same treatment can work on a stationary object, can it be, can it be used on the human body? Which, thinking on it, you know, if you think on it with, you know, putting your biases aside and actually use your imagination, that's no different from chemotherapy. You know, chemotherapy is something that's 
you're basically injecting a radioactive po radioactive poison into a person's body to attack uh, another attack a tumor, attack a, you know a cancer, you know something that's so attack a, something that's not supposed to not supposed to be there, a mutation. So I posted I, I posted that as a status on Facebook, you know, just uh, just part of this video. So I'll go back and check to see what you know what kind of responses I get. But that's what I think. That's how I thought of it, you know. And again, I'm not, I'm you know I don't I'm not. I don't look at Donald Trump as he's you know, my Lord and Savior, obviously, but I'm but I gotta give the guy a fair shot, and that I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt of all the things of the things he says, because there's so many people dogpiling over where every little word that comes out of his mouth, and they're so quick to twist it up and you know put it through, a, put it through their filter, that makes it seem like he's saying one thing and he's actually like saying something else. So I gotta look at it. My I gotta do my I gotta do my own journalism, you know. And I encourage you to all do the same thing. Please don't take my word for it. I, I, I want you guys to think independently and, you know, use your, use your, you know, use your noggin, use that lasagna that God gave you up there, uh, and try to find out what, you know, find out what's, you know, what's what, you know, whether it be on the internet or you know, personal relationships or what have you. Um, but yeah, so about, words are very powerful. Uh, the things that people say can have a direct impact on other people's lives. That's why it's very important that we choose our words carefully. Um, but it's also important that we don't interpret, that we don't misinterpret what someone says, because we, you know, we can make, we can, you know, inadvertently get a bastardized version of what they said, and you know, we are we losing it, we lose the the meaning behind their words, we lose, you know, we get the intent, we get the um, the intent mixed up, and that could put us on the wrong path. So it's always good to know, you know, have, be of independent thought, do your own, do your own investigation, uh, you know, study it. And try to come up, try to come to a conclusion that actually makes sense. Because usually that's that's generally what, you know. And not everything, not everything, you know. So there are some outrageous things that go on in this world, but some a lot of things are just generally pretty simple, you know, Occam's razor kind of stuff. But that's what I wanted to say. I just want to do a video, just share my thoughts on the whole uh, disinfectant, you know, um, <laughs> disinfectant debacle. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Again, please take care of yourselves. You know, work on your hygiene if you if you haven't been doing that already. Which I don't think I don't think all this should have had to had to have happened, you know, to get people to start washing their hands and take, have to take a dump or something like that. But uh, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment comment section. I really appreciate everybody's comments, everybody's input. Uh, I do have some extra, do have some um, some videos I want to have some ideas I also I want to put you know put on camera. Um, just want to make sure everything is set up properly for more in order for me to do it. If you want to, do, if you want to make a donation to the channel. So go to my homepage on YouTube, look for the give up that cheese button, it takes you to uh, PayPal, PayPal and donate any amount you like. Any gravious complaints, send me a PM, I'll see what I do to address them. That's my video, uh, The Power of Words, in the case of Donald Trump. Um, I'm Edward Jones, take care, be safe, and God bless.